right, guys, we're here at the Museum of Northern Arizona, and we're doing some collecting. We are going to make wreaths today. So get your coat on, go outside, and start looking at lovely things in nature that you could bring inside, and we're going to show you how to make a beautiful holiday wreath. I'll see you inside. Well, hey everyone. Here we are in the auditorium at the Museum of Northern Arizona. And I have a special friend here with me today. This is Sandy Roberts. And I know Sandy from yoga. She's my special yoga instructor. Well, she's everybody, <laughs> but I feel like. <laughs> and uh, I know that she makes wreaths. And when I heard that, I tricked her into coming here and doing this wreath program with us. So you can go get your comfy clothes on. You can make yourself a hot beverage. I'm Cheers. the Cheers. I'm the hot chocolate person. She's the hot tea person. <laughs> and mm, that's really good. Mm -hmm. And can you see all of these beautiful materials um, that we have to make wreaths today? Um, some of the things we collected, as you know, and then some of them are just silk things that we picked up at Dollar General, the dollar store, and just things you may even have at home, ribbons mm -hmm. and cinnamon, cinnamon sticks and toys and bulbs. And you can be at bells. You can be as creative with this as you want, right? Right. Right. Absolutely. We have beautiful ponderosa pine trees to do our green, our evergreen mm -hmm. part. And we have uh, juniper. And these are so beautiful because they still have the, the um, fruit, the little berries on them. So that's going to be beautiful if we choose to use it. And this is a spruce. We got these all right outside. And wherever you live, you have something outside. Absolutely. Even yes. if it looks like it may be dead, it's still beautiful. <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> that used to be there, a sunflower. It's a dried sunflower. Yes. So, Miss Sandy, what, uh, what is the first step of making a beautiful wreath? So the first step in this situation, obviously, is to green up our white circle. Okay. okay. So then we would just choose all of our pine boughs and okay. and the goal really is to cover this whole white area so there's okay. no white showing. Okay? On the front. Okay. okay. We don't have to do the front and back. No. No, no, no. no just because, the front. Yeah, we'll hang that and that'll be flush. Um, we might make it go around the, the round edge just Ooh. to cover that up, right? Ooh. Yeah. Okay. Now, when we have this nice little branch here, um, we're not going to just stick this in here like this, right? No, that's right. Too big. This looks, looks um, like a reindeer, you know, reindeer <laughs> <laughs> antlers, <laughs> which is tis the season, right? <laughs> and these are very convenient to have. If you have something like this, you get it from your parents and you work with your parents, um, or even an adult works with these because they are very sharp. And when you are out collecting, be very careful. Uh, things are pokey, at least here in northern Arizona, we have pokey things, and I did get a splinter. So just be careful. And when we want to cut this, maybe you should demonstrate first. Um, well, it's pretty basic. Is it? They're like a pair of scissors. Okay. Yeah. So let's just cut a little twig. There we go. Did you see how easy? See that how just easy. Yeah. And if we need to, we can even take some of the, the, pine, the needles off the of needles there itself? if we want. Oh, okay. So we are going to start making our wreaths, and we think the easiest way to do this is it's, it's a group effort. So you're going to be doing this with your, your family. I'm going to hold the wreath, and then Sandy is going to be wrapping it with the yarn. At the same time, she's going to pick 
the ponderosa branches that she likes. And you're gonna see how we'll wrap it around here. And then we can add these prettier things for yes. decoration. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so you first of all, them something. we want to tie a knot, okay? So it's secure. And so we just did a little loop, kind of like, is that how you tie your shoe? Do you do one of those yeah. when you tie your shoe? Yeah. Well, we're not gonna tie our shoe. I we're not tie making it. bows. No, we're not. So yeah. I'm just gonna go around. I got this little tail end here, make a circle, and then go through the loop and pull nice. pull the it two through. ends like that. Now you know how to make a knot. So we're going to begin, and I just kind of took that out of her hands. <laughs> I really didn't mean to do that. So she's the holder on her. <laughs> Is that a word? Yes, we just made up a word. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to wrap with our handy-dandy yarn and then you'll hold the yarn where I wrapped it so that it doesn't come loose and I'm just going to keep picking up more boughs and we're going to keep wrapping and I have to pay attention to which direction I wrap. I have a tendency to want to go to the right but I'm going to wrap to the left okay as I add these and I'm trying to find the bushy ones and be mindful of the outer edges here to cover up, as well as the inside of the circle. So what I'm doing right here is pulling out some of the needles because we could really use those to cover up our white space. So I'm just going to keep wrapping. Ooh, that's a nice one. That one's a big Oh, one. that's great. So the bigger the better, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this way, huh? In this case. But the bigger the bow, you don't have to be so concerned about the inside and the outside. And it's pretty rough right now, so you don't have to worry about, you know, having it perfect. Yeah. Okay, point so sure this, does smell good. This really is a two yes. person activity and you can giggle and yes. laugh while you're this doing it. This would bring it. your family together. Right. Your family, your friends, all yes. together. And that's the most oh. important thing at this time of the year. It smells to bring, oh, so it smells good. good. And yeah. bring everybody together and have something fun to create. So we're taking that more to the outside. That's a good call. Love it. Yes. So I am directing my bows. You can see I've got this nice circular and the pointy edges are all going to, I guess it would be our left, your right. Okay. So that way it just makes it a little bit easier to do this wrapping situation. Now, if I had a stick wreath, I could be just sticking everything in whatever direction I want. But mm -hmm. this makes it a little bit easier to keep moving in this circular fashion. Isn't it looking beautiful? So we have pine boughs from the west side of town <laughs> and the east side. I'm way over on the east side, so I picked some from my property. Little, little ones, you may have to share this holding duty but if so your arms get tired, <laughs> you might have to have another person hold it. Or we could take a break. Wouldn't yes. that be lovely? And have some hot chocolate. And have some hot chocolate. Oh, that but would be so I, nice. I, but okay. I'm good to go. Okay. And we keep wrapping. So that really didn't take us too long. You guys, this is going to be so cool. Okay. Very good. Very good. Awesome. 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 This sauce. is going to be the kind of wreath you see at craft shows. This is that awesome sauce. You guys know that term, right? What's nice is... They often are see that curved. curved. I know. Mm -hmm. Just when the you way see we the, need natural, it to be. the natural part of the curve, go with it. Yes. See, we got those. Yeah. We can do something. Oh, with we're that almost to the we're end. Almost done. So yeah. this is showing you that regardless if you have an artistic or creative bone in your body, it doesn't matter. Or if you've done something completely different, it doesn't matter, right? right. We can all we can just do it. It's okay to make mistakes. It's okay to have you fun. Oh, right I don't there? know. Yeah, okay, I got <laughs> I it. I don't know where I want it. I just want it. So we are coming to um, getting this wrapped up. It's just really taking form. It's going to be so beautiful. So pretty. We need to get the inside edges. You see the white right yeah, there? Yeah, you see so the white. Let's cover that up, Mary. Okay. So All I right. need your fingers. Yes, you do. Now, Thank talking about much. fingers... Um, I don't know, are you getting sticky? Oh, yes. Okay. If you see close up in my hands, yeah. they're 
They're all sticky and you're brown. You're gonna get pine sap, especially yes. if you're working with a ponderosa pine like we are. You're gonna get pine sap. And I was told that if you get oil, like olive oil, peanut butter has oil in it, peanut oil. If you get an oil after you're all done and uh, get some oil on your hands, I love olive oil. Um, it would probably be very nice for your skin too and your cuticles. Sure. So get some oil on your hands. It will take that pine sap off so um, you don't uh, stick to everything. Absolutely. So don't be afraid of getting all sticky. No. Yeah, it'll come off. It'll come off. So let's pause right here and take a look at what we've got here. Okay? Okay. So how does that look, everyone? See, what, now what we can do, where we have the yarn that's taking some of the, the needles, mm -hmm. we can just pick fluff them out and fluff it up. See? Okay. Like that. Okay. Do. What we can do, I think we've got pretty much the base. The base. And now we're going to do filler? Yes. Okay. So we can do filler. So what I'm going to do right now is just cut this yarn okay. and then tie it to itself. Oh, you're going to make yourself your, another knot? Yes. Okay. Don't know You're if you'll be able to see it too well, but what I'm just going to do is just wrap this around and see if I can find where it is on the inside. Okay, so I'm just going to wrap this around one more time, and I find the, the inside of it here. I've got it, and I'm going to feed that through, if you can see that, to make my half knot. So now I've got it tight. Now I can make a small loop and then feed my little tail right through that small loop. If I can see, everything's green in here, so <laughs> I need my glasses. <laughs> but you all have very young eyes, so yes. you'll be able to do this. Yes. And um, you'll get good at making knots. Okay. Da 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 da! We did it. We can so fix show it. our friends how beautiful that is. And <gasps> see, you can oh. see these are all kind of scrunched down here, but we're going to fluff those up. Okay. okay. So do you see any areas over there, Mary, that you can kind of fluff up? Okay. Looks like. Maybe. Oh, and be careful not to pull them too hard. Like I almost pulled it too hard and then I almost ripped it. So. Um, or pulled it out of the yarn. Yeah, uh, pulled it out of the, the yarn. yarn. Yeah. So be very careful when you're fluffing. Oh. Look at that, beautiful. yeah. Now this little guy, he's kind of sticking out, so we might use something to um, flatten him, flatten him, flatten him down. down. Oh, oh, what do you think? I love it. Yeah, I would, I would put that on my door just like that. But we're going to make it even more beautiful. Yes, we are. We fluffed it up, and now what we want to do is fill it in and yes. make it pretty, right? Yes. Okay. Prettier. Prettier. And there's still some white areas, so we were just using these junipers to just stick in. You saw that we used the, the yarn, so we're just sticking the end underneath some yarn where we see some white areas, yep. like this. Oh, and we had cinnamon sticks. A lot of times there's cinnamon sticks in the pantry with your spices. Ask your, uh, your mom or ask an adult if you have uh, the great big cinnamon sticks. You can even... Um, you sent me a pretty picture of dried oranges. Oh, yes. You could even put dried oranges That was really pretty. In here. Mm -hmm. So yes. now our next task is to start using our ornaments and add some color, perhaps, and some more texture. I usually take all the, my goodies that I've got available and I'll just start playing around and I'll place one and think about, okay, what's going to be my focal point? Do I want a ribbon? Um, this little deer just caught my eye at the dollar store, so I just put, hung him in the center there. So we're going to kind of work around him, okay? Okay. So we've got a ribbon here, and this is just a bow, just like you tie your shoes. That's all it is. Mm -hmm. It's nothing fancy. We could get more fancy and make it really big, but... Yeah, you can um, even buy real big bows. Yes, you if, can buy real big bows. you want something so, really fancy. So, um, just preference. You don't have to put the bow at the top. It can be over on the side, it can be on the bottom. So whatever suits your fancy, I think we're going to go with the top because nice. of our... our deer that's hanging there. So now we have to figure out how to attach this. And this is a ornament hanger. Just a piece of wire, right? Yeah, Christmas okay. tree hook, yeah. right? So oh. then 
we would just thread it through behind. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. You might have to scrunch it up a little bit. That's okay. Okay. Nice. And then just kind of and then twist it, like it together, and then you could actually just bread thing? poke the wire into the styrofoam. Okay. How's Am that? Am I going to try to do that? I'm going to do that. Okay. So you can use the little ties to the uh, bread. Um, we just happen to have um, tree hooks. And if you need them to be longer, you can always twist them together and make them longer, right? Yeah. Yeah, I that looks beautiful. Oh, nice. So, okay, so then, Mary, if mm -hmm. you want to start, to, okay, what, what, what sounds good to you? This is kind of nice. That's, That's a my, nice yeah. contrast to that yeah. sparkly, a yes. little bit of nature. This is very so nature. What yes. we're doing is, is taking this bow and the, and the uh, what's this guy called? The deer. <laughs> the reindeer. The reindeer. <laughs> yes, and making a focal point and just kind of dressing it up a little bit. Now, we could go around the whole wreath and do sequ sequential like bulbs or something like that. So like I said, it's just whatever suits your fancy, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. And so, you were telling me earlier that you, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like you don't, whatever you do to this side, you don't have to do no, to the other side. It's absolutely actually better not. if you're doing a natural wreath like this, nothing in nature is perfect. And, it, and nature is the most, I, I, my opinion, I think nature is the most beautiful creation and it's not perfect. So, I agree. I agree. Um, and I love this. This, to some people, would look horrible, but I just love it because uh, I just love the shape of it. And if you see these, they look like these are uh, berries. They are not. Oh, this is yes. so fascinating. Yes. These were made by insects. Insects and the plant together, they make this uh, little... A uh, gull is what it's called. It's an insect gull. So you can't get anything more in nature than an insect gull. Did <laughs> you put in your natural wreath? Right. You know. Okay. We've got some burgundy berries. I thought would look nice. That's hard to say three times. Burgundy berry, burgundy berry, <laughs> burgundy berry. And then we've got little small pine cones. Where That's would okay. you like that? <laughs> Let's see. So, like I said, it's just a matter of what catches your eye. If you want a theme, if you just want a whole bunch of fun stuff on your wreath, and they can be fun. You can do like toys, you know, uh -huh. toy wreaths, right? Oh, okay. I've seen, even seen candy wreaths. It's Ooh. all full of candy, wrapped, oh, wow. wrapped little pieces of candy. Wow. Very colorful. And what's nice is to do a little bit of contrast. Um, and what I mean by that. Yeah, what do you mean by that? Is we've got the natural, right? We've got the earthy. Natural. You know, uh -huh. this is all natural. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, this is not natural. This is man-made, but it kind of pops, a little mm -hmm. sparkly, mm -hmm. as well as this. And then we've got this. This is very natural. The natural, almost they look oh, like wow. berries mm -hmm. against the man-made berries. Mm -hmm. So, oh, I like this cinnamon stick right here. We, need, we might need a couple more of those. Should we put the cinnamon sticks together? Oh, that's kind of nice. Is that nice? Yeah. And then maybe one down here just to oh, offset. Okay, good. I and there's that number three. One. You know that three is an auspicious number. Uh -huh. And we don't have to have one side looking exactly like the other. Uh -huh. So rather than four, we use three. And then, of course, you know, there's some little finesse that you have to take. After you're done, you've got it. And you're like, oh, okay, i got to unruffle this or ruffle this or scrunch up this. Whatever you need to do to, to make it to your pleasing. Okay, I'm going to take this piece of yarn, make it simple, uh -huh. and just find my way. And even if it doesn't hang right from where the, the reindeer, it really doesn't matter. No? It's okay. No. Okay. Yeah, we don't have to like, I like, I like that it doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah, I do too. And it I'm just going to up. make my knot. You can another knot. See, another see knot. how important knots are. It's just, are. you know, taking two pieces, make a little circle, Thread that one through the circle and, and pull. pull. And you've got no. your knot. Isn't you that go. amazing? Look, I'm gonna let and go. look. Oh my goodness, look at how beautiful. I, I can't see. Look at Oh my god, I'm getting that thing I got from this guy. It is gorgeous. Oh, oh god. God. there we go. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank oh, you, Mary. That is beautiful. Oh, this has been so much fun. Oh my goodness. And, uh, oh, we, yes. Yeah, we have to bring this one in. Our director, she's behind the camera there, uh, Kristen, she, um, 
She did this like in 10 minutes. She just wrapped this beautiful yarn around the other styrofoam wreath that we got. I tied this little uh, poinsettia, little bow thing here. You could even put this through really nicely cut And maybe it. perhaps put it behind. Look at that. Yeah, put and it cut behind. it. You could even add some natural, you know, some natural, not that deep too, too much, but maybe something like this to yeah. tie in that natural color. The outdoors, oh, in, look at indoors. That. Look how cute that and is. And this took literally 15 minutes and uh, no gluing, no nothing. She just wrapped and tied those knots. And this one will keep for year to year. Absolutely. All right. All right. Thank you, my friends. And thank you, my May friends. May I say domo arigatou gozaimashita. Thank ah. you so much. Beautiful yeah. being with you. Have fun. Yay. <laughs>